Well, <laughs> welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode two of my, uh, my storyline playthrough here. And I just got attacked on the beach by a Giganthopus. Here's me. Here's my moss chops. Here's my Segnosaur's body bag. My base platform was here. And here is this gigantic snake that has decided that I am its next meal. And I heard it enough, it ran away. Okay, thank God for that one. Now, here's another question. Okay. Yeah, let's land on the campfire. How? Oh, crap, he's coming back. Okay. Wow. Kill the damn thing. Alright. So, back to the other question. Where is the Iguanodon I was befriending? So we can use the Tame Helper for this. Um, there's that and that. Down the beach, okay. I can pick up my stuff here in a moment. It'll hang around for a while. Hey, go on down, buddy. Well, 24 male Iguanodon. Iguanodon are great for one thing. They are fast. Oh, hey, he gave me a gift. Look at that. 25 rare mushrooms. Actually, that's pretty handy right about now. Whew, yeah, buddy, you got hurt bad. Um... Just in case something like that happens again, we're going to do that. And if you've got a lot of raw meat on you, we're going to force feed you a bit. Now, my red panda gives us Cuddle Buddy buff down here in the bottom right corner. And it actually improves creatures' uh, healing rate a lot. Hey, come back here. Probably should have hand fed you, but, you know, same difference. Come on. Another thing nice about Iguanodons is you get their saddle at level 30. So we need to move off the beach. Whenever I get attacked by a 40 foot long poisonous snake in the middle of the night, yeah, it's probably a good sign not to hang around. Yeah, I just had Iguanodon wander by, I'm like, oh, that could be useful for getting around the island, you know. I mean, they're fairly quick. And, uh, which is a good thing. And right as I had fed it the second bait, wham. And, okay, I don't need extra stone tools. Those came from the Sarko. Uh, here, let's go ahead and just kick a bunch of stuff into you here. And you can have half of that too, I think, in the mushrooms, because they'll spoil slower in a, a creature's inventory than in your own. All right. Gonna come over here now. Are you seriously not on attack my target? Or do you just not attack trilobites? Come on. You know what? Stop this. Come here. Oh wow, I do 500 damage now. And my moss chops leveled up again. I got 17 levels off of killing that snake. What level was that snake? Uh, a level 288 Gigantopus. I've never seen those things under a 300 before. That's the first time, so... Nice to know that you come at lower levels. Alright, I'm just going to grab this. I am going to make myself a pickup gun. And we're just going to pick up the campfire. And... There's really nowhere good to go from here. It's along the beach where I have, you know, basically amphibious predators. Not amphibian, but amphibious predators. Or into the jungle. And I'm not that fond of running into either one of them right now because there's uh, some pretty dangerous things in the jungle too. 
Good news is my Moss Chops is actually, like I said, they're actually pretty good fighters. Basically equivalent level and he took out a gigantic predatory ocean snake. A little bit of help from the Segna. The Segna lasted maybe five hits though. I mean, yeah. Not the greatest. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy up to like half health though. Yeah, I was planning on taking it easy on the beach, not having any problems, and then ambushed by a giant blue snake. Ah, oh, well. Best laid plans of mice and men, right? Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, you're not eating that in here. You can have some of that, though. Just fit us some pieces of prime by accident. But he's relatively healed up now, so... Probably stop gathering all the stuff on the way. He might. Oh, now he's only 100 pounds. Okay. Yeah, the iguanodon is so much faster than me. So. Oh, hey. Ow. Bugs. And I just killed a Mesopithecus. I was going to say, hey, look, monkey. And yeah, then I had to kill it. I was having a hard time hitting that thing, though. All right, and should turn the taming helper off eventually. But for right now, it does kind of help me. Let kind of help let me know how far away my uh, iguanodon is, or why he's being attacked right now. More. Uh, it looks like more bugs. Dude, you are already getting beat up by a lot. Look at that. Um, yeah, let's give you like five points into speed. Yeah, you only had 600 health. Half, dude. All right, if we're where I think we are, then it's probably a little safer up here, honestly. Let's get back out to the, the ocean here. It's the same sound they make when they get attacked as whenever they jump. It's really weird. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I got turned around a bit. Hey, there's that Dilo that was stalking around earlier, though. Hey, come here. I pissed off the Meganura because I ate the corpse. And it wanted it. See, so yeah, with the mods I have installed, the ocean is not, or the beach is not safe. There are a couple safe beaches, but for the most part, no. Don't trust them. Oh, hey, there's an Andrew Sarkis fighting a turtle. Uh, Andrew Sarkis. Our scavengers. Why is there a Chronosaurus up here? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. It's a small relative of a Mosa that likes to come up on the... Well, vaguely related to Moses. But it likes to come up on the beach and chase after things and eat them. Which is probably... Is that? Yeah, okay. Um, that's an alpha raptor. We're not hanging around at all. Um, yeah, we are definitely, definitely going this way. Well, we're not, yeah, we're, we're not moving that way. The Chronosaur will eventually go back into the water and then you can move past without a problem. The alpha raptor, though, psh, no. That is reliant on something killing it. Yeah. And, okay, yeah, we're probably good for now. 
What is going on with... Oh, he's still poisoned from the snake. Okay. It's that debuff in the top right. Drains like 30% of your life over a period of time. Here, let's, uh, let's get you healed up some more here, buddy. If that alpha attacks, the Iguanodon's just dead. There's just no if ands, or buts about it. It's not strong enough to take more than a couple hits. And unless I put it onto something like Passive Flea, it's not going to do any good. Even then, it might not, because all that Alpha's got to do is just follow it and give it a couple of hits, and, and that's it. So I do wish I knew what level it was, though. And there's one way to find out the level, and that's how I leave my dinosaurs here. I run up and go check. I'm going to die if I do that, mind you. But uh, I prefer not to do that if I could. If it's a low level, my moss chops could take it out and I could get some really good equipment. If it's not a low level, everything dies and I start from scratch. Decisions, decisions, right? Well, so we got some Parasaurs to act as bait around here. So actually, I am level 15. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some weight. Movement speed's probably a pretty good thing, and or get some health. Movement speed. One on saddle, 12 points. I should be able to make that. Let's go ahead and turn off this Tame Helper. All right, and... Crap, where to go? Oh, frick. Ichthyornis. birds, man. I hate these things. And the thing is, if you're on a dinosaur, they'll attack where your dinosaur can't hit. It's like they know exactly where you're the most vulnerable. So, yeah, there's the Chronosaur. I have no idea what happened to that Alpha Raptor, though. Yeah, damn, birds are still after me. My Segnosaur took out the last one that targeted me. That is something big and dead in the water. So I have no idea where that Alpha went. That looks like it might be a dead like Zygopeister though. Is this what the snake was up to before it came after me? Actually, that's a Hydrarchus, isn't it? Yeah, Hydrarchus, level 60. Oh, buddy. Come here. Can I pick you up? No, it's way too big for me to pick up. That. Oh, this is a heck of a find here, though. Titan Sailfish. Sixty-eight raw prime fish meat. Oh, and a bunch of oil off of this guy. A lot of oil. Wow. And forty-eight raw prime fish or raw, raw prime raw prime fish. All right. So you can use those for baits. The raw prime is good for things like segnosaurs. that don't like regular prime meat, but will eat fish. Oh. 
And Dinocheris, like, what's on the beach ahead of me here. I'm safe as long as I have a red panda. But if my Iguanodon gets too far behind me, its protection may last long enough for that thing to aggro on us. And that's a Pegamastix. Hi. Don't mind us. I think it's nicknamed the Danger Goose, by the way. Oh, you stole my berry baits off me, you jerk. I didn't even notice. Uh, yeah. Got more health for you. Uh, got more damage for you, more health for you. Okay. The kicker of it is, though, is I have enough raw prime fish meat to tame this thing. Depending on level. If I get too far away from my dinosaurs, though, because I have the red panda on me, it could possibly aggro on them. If I leave my red panda here with these guys, my buff may run out. 216. That would be a game changer is what that would be. Because all of a sudden I would be afraid of almost nothing anywhere around here. I'm quite a ways away from being able to make a saddle for this thing. But... The hell of a bodyguard's what that is. No, we're not going to tame it though. We're just going to move on. Come on, Iguanodon, stick with me. Alright, we're getting closer to the area that I was kind of sort of hoping to go for. Uh, that looks to be a Carno up ahead though. Oh, and there's another Theory. Or it could be the same one, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what the other one looked like. Um, yeah, that's a Carno. That is uh, definitely a Carno, and I can't really go back either. Alright, buddy. Come here. Okay, he's attacking the Gigantospino first. And it's got friends. Uh, Gigantospinos are functionally the same as a Kentro that you can ride on. Uh, they reflect damage, uh, they move in packs, they get a pack bonus. Alright, you know what? That thing's busy. We're just gonna go this way. Hey, Dilo. Oh, and one of the main differences with the dialogues of the TLC I found out is they actually have a pack bonus themselves now. So a large group of dialogues actually could be somewhat threatening. Okay, we've got a Sukumimus there. We've got Raptors over there. The Sukumimus is pissed off a theory, though, it looks like. That thing is charging across. No, actually, that's, those are Segnos. And then we got a little Lystro here. Oh, it's all kinds of interesting across the river there, isn't it? All right. So, yeah, that thatch foundation I had lasted approximately three hits against the dragon topus. Ruin. Are you serious? You just freaking aggroed on me? Oh, that's a Ferrerosaurus. Dang it. Oh, of all the times for freaking Diplo to get involved. Oh, that was a good level one, too. It was whenever it's targeting me and. I mean, something too slow to get in there. And then a Predator shows up.
Raw prime for me. And the vertebrae. All right, so I'm gonna set up a shop here around this ruins. It's got a Rockwell record on it. Oh, hello. What is this? Dead raptor. <laughs> well, free meat. But here, I'm at least close enough to the sea. I could do raft travel if I wanted to. Hello, Dimorphodon. And I'm next to water, but it's a river, so I'm less likely to have giant sea creatures come out after me. As a dodo just bobbing along. So yeah, I'm liking this area better for at least a first base. Uh, let's see, my moss chops. Three more levels there. I leveled up, apparently. Uh, 118 is probably good for now. Let's focus on weight. There's nothing worse than trying to build without weight. And you just can't, you can't carry, you know, enough parts to build with. Looks like pretty much everything dangerous has been cleared out of here, though. All the predators got chased off into the woods, except for that Herrerasaur, which uh, I can't take care of. Awesome. I think we're back and started building myself a little house and somebody decided to show up in the river. That's a wonderful spino over there. So to get my house built, which is the only reason I'm still here now is because, well, I'm stubborn and I have a place to defend. So I'm going to. I guess. Come on. There we go. Come on. Your crosshair on the moth shop is just so low. Alright, and hopefully the spino goes out the other direction. Because I don't think we could take it. Well, you guys couldn't take it. The moth shops here probably could. So yeah, I tamed another uh, another Cygnosaur. Wow, my mouse chops is actually getting kind of heavy too. I need to need to get some inventory space cleaned up. I think. So, can I make a forge? Can I learn a forge? I can learn the forge. Refining forge. I also learn those as well from Steampunk mod. I need a lot more stone. I've already got everything else on me. Great. Just keeping an eye on that spino out of the corner of my eye right now. And... Oh, it's going to take a while to mine up 112 stone with a stone hatchet, isn't it? That's just a wee bit unfortunate. Oh yeah, it's going to take a while. Right around 40 stone now? Yeah. Like a third of the way there. Oh, about halfway now there. Yeah, halfway up a one rock. So not bad, and I just saw a tail up on the shore. There he is. You'll not see me. Right, let's go over this way. Look further away. What do you have on you that I don't need? Uh, decorative plants can go, spoiled meat can go for now. Uh, Stemberries I'm probably going to need, actually. It is weighing so much, is it? Just the fact that I'm on top, I'm on you. No. Oh, by the way, moss chops will passively harvest things around them as well. So don't park and mix to a tree you want to keep. I see your silhouette there, Spino.
go back in the water. And that's a, he's a challenge tame as well. So I have to get a, a Spino Sail trophy and present it to him. So I have to kill a Spino in order to tame a Spino. Which is not necessarily the greatest, but I mean it works. Alright, so one thing I should check on though. Uh, Segno Saddles. What level are you? 45. I am level 36. Well, 38 here in a second. And... So 25 was crossbow. I'm not going to bother learning the pike right now. Ah, I just got into Saddle. Cool, there's a couple of those guys roaming around. Uh, let's see, Trank Arrow, I don't need to worry about really. Let's get to hand lights, I guess. Wall Torch, I'll pass on for now. Candlelight. Hatchet and Pick, definitely learn those. DHTLC. Craft any saddles or items in this bench. Not sure what the DHTLC is. Can't remember what I'm talking about. Uh, how much stone am I up to now? 121. Forge requires 125. I need four more stone. Come on. Finish mining this because I may get a couple more pieces of metal. And there we go. Okay. So, forge. That guy. I swear, that guy. He's just hanging out right over there, just. just taunting me. Get a little more stamina. Uh, anything calling my name at level 39? Shotgun. Hmm. I'm not going to bother. That is quite a ways away. Oh, the sun is starting to go down behind the hill here, too, so it's really nice and dark. All right. Let's get this on down. I'm not going to be too particular about getting everything perfect here. And... There we go. I think I've got more metal in my iguanodon, though. Ooh, did level up again. Okay, cool. You finally got 2,000 health. Congratulations. Yeah, I got two pieces. So at this point, I am one piece short of being able to make a smithy, let alone anything that I can make in the smithy. I did make myself a bow and a bunch of arrows, though. Which, for the most part, <clears throat> if it comes down to me using a uh, bow and arrow right now, yeah, I'm screwed. You can learn hide armor, but really hide armor, it just doubles your armor over cloth and it makes you more susceptible to heat. Which, since I'm right next to a jungle biome, not the best. Oh, come on, I just need one more piece of metal and I can at least make the forge. Also, I still haven't picked up the explorer note yet. Okay, come on. How about you? Just one metal. One X metal. Come on. Do the thing. There we go. All right. Segno, you probably need some food, right? Um, here, well, take why, do I, why do I have so many bears on me? Not a lot, just a few from here and there, I think, everywhere else. All right, let's go ahead and put the berries and the meat into here. I do have some prime meat bait. It can stay in here. It'll spoil slower that way. And let's do flint and stone into here to make that. Toss that into there, and that'll get me two more pieces of metal. So it'll get me up to six, which should be enough to make a pick, actually. Not enough to do much about the whole light situation, though. A uh, campfire would not be a bad idea, then. Oh, 16 more stone. Why do I need so much stone right now? Watch me run into like an alpha raptor over here or something by myself. Haven't been able to make a bed yet either. So I learned that HG bed. Yeah, I can't, can't make it. Requires a uh, special crafting table. And that crafting table, it looks like, unlocks level 45. 
So, it's just one of those things, I think. I have not put any points into melee damage, though, which may explain in a bit why it's taking so long to do this. Ah, uh, that is a regular one. That Ingram's not even supposed to show up, but it did. Oh, I had that campfire. It's in the Iguanodon right now. Make sure to pick up my other one. Oh, well. And stuck on a tree root. I want to put the one I just made over here. Uh, it's a little bit of light. <laughs> it's not great by any stretch of the imagination, but it, it's better than nothing, I guess. And you had three levels on you already? Awesome. Here, let's do that so we can kind of sort of see. And you got quite a bit of stuff on you as well, actually. Hey, uh, Guanadon. I thought I put it in, maybe I put it in the moss chops. No. Oh, it's been in my inventory the whole time. Whoops. And campfire. Yeah, even with that, it's still kind of sort of bright enough to see by. Alright, now can I make well first of all, can I learn a smithy? N plus smithy, yes I can. Can I make it? Probably not. Oh, look. I am two stone short. Two. Alright. Oh, I forget this pier, so. One. Come on, give me another one for this break. There we go, two. And my pick broke, and actually I used a stone to repair it with. Great. Okay, cool. I got it back. And I got a single piece of metal out of there. But it's better than nothing. Honestly, because that will cook up another one here. Smithy. And I did die once off camera, so... Got ambushed by some Amphicyons. Gigantic bear dogs. Mean as hell. Weapons, melee, pick. Just pull for everything you need. Alright. We have metal. Awesome. And I'm just going to leave this actually in the smithy. The smithy is actually really good as early game storage as well. So, because I accidentally made an extra one of those, the, uh, the bait stations. Alright. Mouse chops. Fork it over. And I did make myself also the furniture and decor crafting table from uh, Eco's RP mod. So furniture, bed, what do these take? Fiber and wood. All right, cool. Wood, I don't have any fiber on me. I think I just put it away in here, didn't I? I did. All right. I'll feel a lot better once I know where the hell that spino is. I just made a coffin bed by accident. Whoops. Is that any cheaper? Oh, it is. It's just straight wood. Pick up and rename. Okay. The other beds have an option you can actually lay on them, which is kind of kind of interesting. And it's fun, like, the first time you do it. But mortar and pestle, I got my base station set up here. Uh, let's come here and let's go storage because I want to make one of these things, the uh, side tables. It's one of the few things that will actually fit right here. And then I want to make an Ikuos food tray. This thing. There we go. And I can place it on top there. I mean, I can place it on the floor, but I 
prefer having it up a little bit closer. And then a pantry, a place to store food. It slows down the spoil timer, which is wonderful. Um, let's see, I can put you between the windows here, I think. And that's a good place to put anything food related. Uh, well, anything with a spoil timer can go into here, really. I usually put berries and seeds and meat inside of these things, so. But it's a good way to keep everything separated. Uh, here, you can have like, say, 400 amber berries for now. You're actually, you did level up, so give you some, I misclicked, more health. There we go. You've got a bunch of stuff on you. Here, you can have like 400 azul berries for now. All right, so that's all the berries and meat I've got, which is sadly to say not much. And over here, I can start pumping all this stuff away, getting an extra slingshot. Came off of a raptor corpse that I found buried in the bushes, so. All right, so feeling a little bit better. I mean, I don't have a roof on my house yet, but it means I can look up at the stars, you know, when it's not raining. All right, so what do we have for meat in here? Uh, regular meat. Actually got quite a bit. Let's cook up like 130 of this for now. Let's put you in there. I think the spino wandered off down the beach a bit. Which is probably a, a good thing for me, honestly. But he did make sure to eat all the fish in the river here first before he left. Uh, spinos aggro on fish first. Which is kind of handy to know, honestly. Alright, you're... Yeah, not doing great. It's level 36, or 39. So yeah, metal shield, shotgun, which is going to need a lot of metal for the shotgun and the, the bullets. So, for the ammo. Could learn chitin. Um... Moderate physical protection, can we get a little warm? It has negative hyperthermic insulation, which is heat. Not the greatest right now. There's a whole bunch of steampunk stuff at level 35 I can learn, but I'm nowhere near being able to make that. Gilly would be probably the best right now. It's got pretty crappy hypothermic, but it's got good hyperthermic. Which is awesome, but it takes organic polymer to make, and it's not easy to come across on the part of the map I'm at right now. Uh, let's see, and we got more stuff from additional lighting. I wish you didn't have to learn the engrams for these, it just unlocked with the bench. But I can understand why they did it, because they want some of it to be level dependent. Uh, sword is what I usually go with. Uh, for a melee weapon. But uh, I'm not going to bother learning it right now because it takes 50 metal to make. Learn some steampunk stuff. Let's go ahead and learn this water jar. The kibble bait station would not be a bad thing to get into either. And let's see. Scissors I'm going to have to make some eventually here. I'm, for the trophy baits, I am going to need, um, I'm going to need hair. <laughs> so, yeah. I should probably look into getting some obsidian here soon, but I need a better land mount. And the reason I put a double door on here is so I can put my moss chops inside. Because he's a little coward, so. But he's great at gathering things, and... It's probably the best spider I have right now. Again, as long as I'm sitting on its back. Alright. <clears throat> well, it's still nighttime, isn't it? What do we got? We got a, it's a white drop over there. I'm not going over there for a white drop. I don't, I don't think that would be a very good idea right about now. So what do I have in here for stone? 
pretty much like none. Uh, this thing, might as well just let it keep burning, honestly. Get some more charcoal that way. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm stuck here until the sun comes up at this point. There's really not much of anything I can do besides uh, try not to die. Well, sun's coming up and I've spent most of the night finding these little rock piles around here by torchlight and using my pick on them. And I got enough, I have a metal ax now, which is nice. All right, that'll be two more ingots worth. And here, you can go into there with that. Makes me more spark powder. So, not exactly the greatest waste location. Where is that spino at? I am curious. There he is. He's all the way over there now. Okay, good. All right. If I go up... Uh, that way much further to the north, I'll eventually run into the swamp. Which is not something I am equipped to deal with right now. Although if I take my moss chops up there, I can get a lot of rare flowers, so... I'm feeling more adventurous now that I have a bed as well, so... But, I mean, I can move a lot faster than my, uh... Well, my guandon's pretty fast, but, uh... And my moss chops, but my Gondon can't fight, so this is what I wanted to get into here because you can actually get metal out of these rocks at a at its fairly decent rate, so. And I do need flint and stone, so. Right now I'm trying to save up to get myself a crossbow. Which I think actually I have enough metal to get across. Are you freaking kidding me? You got into that shallow of water, you jerk. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yay, I got rare flowers out of these. Cool. Yeah, you can get rare flowers out of the cattails as well here, so it's... Not something you have to go to the swamp for, but if you need large amounts of it... Mm, yeah. That's the Melanotuka over there. Oh, yeah. No. Don't want to go that way. I'd rather face the Spino in hand-to-hand -hand combat with, than go up against that thing right now. They always spawn in over the max level. You know, they they exceed the level cap considerably. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this, I guess. Uh, Rockwell meeting Nerva. Okay. Or while talking about Nerva anyway. And let's see. Uh, 13 metal. Oh, that'll get me up to 9. I need, I think, I'm pretty sure it's 10 for the uh, crossbow. Great. Um, I'm going to have to go back closer to that uh, Melanotuka. That is a, basically a Ceratopsian that eats meat and hates mammals. It's based off of a cryptid from Africa in the Congo region named the Melanotuka. Which is basically like a reptilian rhino, honestly, is how it's best described by the locals. So, oh hell, it's on my side of the river now. Yeah, no, those things are uh, not not great. And to top it all off, it runs a lot faster than anything. Well, then me anyway, let's put it that way. My Guadalajara might be able to outrun it. Might. Is that it? Oh, hell yeah, you're dead. Serves you right, you jerk. And that's an Alpha Raptor. Okay. Yeah, we're going back to base. Okay, cool. It didn't see me. <laughs> it's still a little bit dangerous around here. Of course, I didn't start in the, the typical starter beach, so... There we go. Yeah, I should definitely have enough metal now for a crossbow. Well, why is that Bronto panicking? Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, it's being savaged by the Spino. Okay. Well, that's lovely. 
All right, I've got 470 seconds left on my experience buff. I should have grabbed it on a dinosaur, honestly. So that way they got it as well. Yeah, to give you a little more health, you... Let's get you up over 3,000 and start stacking your melee up, I think. Try to make you into a bit of a glass cannon since you don't have the, the absolute levels to... Uh, yeah, to survive, honestly. It's kind of the best way to put it. Yeah, there's that Spino right over there. Great. Spino, Alpha Raptor, and Melanotuka. Yeah, we're uh, we're surrounded by friends. All right, level forty. What do we got? Uh, piping, piping and automation stuff from nominal structures. Yeah. All right. Well, not a problem. Sweet. 10 metal, awesome. So we're gonna put some of this stuff in here. Uh, ranged crossbow, please. And I need to figure out a way to get my hands on some uh, organic polymer. And let's put the regular bone here. Never had to use it once. You know, I think that is probably the closest threat. Alright, dude, come on. You guys, you stay here. Wait a second. Thought I saw a red mist over that way. You know, like the, the kind that surrounds an alpha. No, we're, we're pretty good. Okay. Alright, and... Let's see. Now I just keep thinking it's hilarious because I tried to kind of slow down my progression a bit, whatnot. And then I got attacked by a giant snake. Killed it, and well... Got 17 levels all in one go. Uh, two rare flowers out of those. Okay. I mean, you don't get them very often, but you do. Alright, so what do I want to take my chances with first here? Hmm, that's an idea. Yeah, moss chops can swim, just not very well. Yeah, and their sea attack. Let's grade it. Levels quite a bit of stuff around them, so let's right click. But all three of their attacks do the same harvesting, so yeah, let's get up here and see what we can what we can see. Mm, yeah, we're looking pretty good so far. Not like I can see very far on this hill though. Alright. Is that that alpha? No, that's a carno, it looks like. Down right over my head, they're fighting a couple of trikes. Trikes one. Okay. Oh, hi. You're right there, aren't you? Um, yeah. All right. And it just got aggressive at something. Okay. Where did that alpha run off to? There he is. There's the alpha. He's way too close to that Melanotuka. Too bad he's over there. Right. Okay, he's hiding behind the tree now. Dude, come over here. Ah, he moved. It's kind of the problem, especially with trying to snipe with a crossbow from this far away. And maybe... Oh, come on. There you are, and boom. Gotcha. <laughs> problem with crossbows is their bolts take so long to uh, travel 
that uh, by the time they get over to where you're trying to snipe with them, the thing is moved. Oh, headshot. Nice. Come on, dude. Just settle down. Find a place to get wedged in. Trying to run away and you hit that rock, so. They do that after a while. If they can't reach you, they just hightail it out of there. Changing the uh, AI to keep people from cheesing them, I think. All right, well, he's he's left, so. Same with Natuka. It well, kind of wandered off upstream there, which not terrible. Now watch me get back and find a destroyed my base. I didn't see any death messages, so we should be fairly good there. Why is there a Segno over there with an aura? Okay, just went away. So it was just the the distance glitch with the whole fog thing. Is that what you were about? Level two forty. Oh no, you uh, you got concavenated. Okay, that was the poison or acid, I think, is what they they call it. Aura from that. Hello, Giganta Spino. Level forty eight. That's not really worth it. Lystro, there's a Manguela. Why is my moss chops pooping so much? Alright, um... Looks like the Spino's moved off again, too. Alright, so... Mossy leveled up again. Very good. I leveled up again as well, level 41. Parasaur Saddle. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those around. If it was a high-level Gigantospino, then I would definitely consider taming it. But, uh, yeah, it's not. So. Hello, fishies. Okay, all the fish are back, too. Cool, I could go fishing if I want to. I've got exactly nothing, though, to, to use for fish bait. Alright, well, where I am here, I'm actually, you know, let's go ahead and bring the map up. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's to the, the east. I'm kind of between two caves. I don't think either of them, though, have leeches in them, so I think fishing is a distant dream for now. How are you doing? Four more metal? Eh, that's, that's good, I guess. We've got seven total. Um... I see a whole lot of stuff I can actually make, though, is the problem. I mean, like, I can learn how to make a pike, but it takes 10 metal for that. Dino Tracker would be a good thing to have, though. That would be very, very handy. And I think it's just a metal and a hide, honestly. Yep. One of each. Awesome. And the version I'm making is a skin that you apply to your hand armor. Control C brings it up, Control V repeats the last scan you did. But from here I can it's not that huge of an area really, but it does show what's around. Like there's Ichthyornis around, yay. Another Iguanodon, low level. Bunch of salmon. There's that Segno. Uh there's two spinos roaming around. Lovely. Does that alpha show up at all? No. Okay, so he's actually a good distance away. Same with the Amela Natuka. The spinos on the other hand are they're close enough to be scanned, which is also suffice to say they're close enough to uh, to be a threat. Yeah, see, so look at you right there, dude. 
One's a 192, the other one's a 290, or 228. What level are you? Level 24. Uh, okay. And the Spino's hungry. He's eating stuff. Right. Um, I could do some cheesy ways to get experience, but I think I'm going to avoid it. Oh, I forgot about these. I can turn my spears into spear bolts. For the okay, he's getting close. <coughs> spear bolts do considerable more damage. You better be attacking those birds and stuff over there, dude. All right. Nope, we're getting on the moss chops. I don't trust that at all. Downside of moss chops, no saddle means no armor. Oh, and that bird just went flying. Okay. Uh, guys, follow me. We have to take off. I want you with me. If uh, this thing suddenly charges out of the water, I want you to... <laughs> I want you to be close. And he's going after the fish right now, so we're pretty safe. The question is... Uh, when he runs out of fish, is he going to go that way? Or is he going to come back here? Oh, that was my panda on my shoulder. Okay. I've never leveled that guy up yet. I should do that. It's been sitting on my shoulder accruing experience points. All right, and... What are you doing, dude? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, look up Spear. Can I get like 10 of these crafted, please? While we're sitting here watching this. Okay, yeah, he's getting too close. Dude, no. Don't do it. I think he listened. <laughs> oh. Don't. I see you thinking about it again. Your mate went up, up that way. Go. Alright. So, that's done. Turn all those into spear bolts now. Two spear bolts per spear. Kind of nice. And they do, I think it's three times the damage of a, a regular stone arrow. <sighs> Freaking Mexican standoff right here. Oh, those aren't actually harvestable, huh? Just taller than normal ground clutter? Yeah. That works, I guess. There's a green drop up there too. I have a mod in here that actually it's like it's called Chibi Drops, I think. And it adds chibis randomly to white and green loot crates. So there's actually always a point to pick them up now. Of course for my tech level, green would be kinda nice to have too. This damn spino, I swear. And let's see, what level is this one? Is this the 192? No, this is the 228. The 192 is not far away either. Okay, great. That beam of light is showing exactly where it's at. And it's coming down on this side of that cliff over there. <laughs> Good news is, frag or, uh, spinos are fragile. They really don't have a lot of health. I am like stuck here too, really. Because I don't dare leave my, my dinosaurs to take care of it. Because the Moss Chops isn't going to do crap without me here. I could take him off passive, in which case he'll run away. So. This guy here has brought everything to a screeching halt. Uh, 
All right, let's go ahead and check on our campfire here. Oh, uh, okay. Got some more cooked meat. Let's put this fish away, I guess, for now. Use that to feed my segno to, to heal it up later. If I need to. Okay, he's attacking the turtle. Turtle's in the shell. Yeah, he just, he just went and sucked right into that shell without any hesitation. Alright, um... I'm at a standstill until this guy goes away. What I need is like some metal spike walls or something that I could charge him into. Oh, that's a Nidrosaurus there. And those are three Truodons. Hey. Hmm, too much drop. Okay. Those are tempting to tame up real quick, actually. Uh, it's daytime, so they won't aggro on me too far away, but a pack of Truodons can make a huge difference, especially early game. Oh, they are so good. I don't know if I'd send them up against a Spino, but uh, they are they are really good. He's not going anywhere. And I've only got a wood building, so he can definitely destroy this thing if he comes over here. All right. Uh, do we get any prime meat left in here? I do. I've got a bunch. All right. Cool. Here we go. Make a bunch of that up. I see you. Dude, there's a Gigantospino right over there. Go attack it. Uh, Gigantospinos reflect, I think it's 30% damage that hits them. So, I mean, that would be basically amazing. And then I've got... Where did I leave? What are you low on, anyway? Spark powder? Yeah, okay. I thought I had some more prime bait than that. I guess that's what I had left and what I just created. Oh, dude. Keeps getting closer too. Oh uh, yeah, you get more health because you're... You've at least got a saddle on, so you've got some armor. This thing, I swear. I just want to shoot it in the head and get it over with, really. Can I shoot from the back of this? Oh, hey, I can. Look at that. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think he'll attack a Segno. Guandon, he probably will, though. He'd definitely attack a Moss Chops, because we're small enough to be considered a meal, so. Oh, that other Spino's dead over there. I'm leaving. He just came further up the beach, so I picked a good time just to uh, start heading upstream. So something over there can kill a Spino. Yeah, I can see the corpse right there, right above my head. I'm showing up on the diner radar because the corpse is still there. Hello, Tranodon. You got hit by something, didn't you? Alright, let's go ahead and come up here. There's my Trudons. Well, not mine yet, but soon. Hey, there's three of you. Have some food. 156. 120. You see how there's red particles coming off of him now? It means don't get close. He can still target you. The third one has wandered off into the river. 
It's funny, Trudons can't swim all that great, but they have no issue with... Uh, let's just go ahead and throw three more out. No issue with going into water. They just get stuck there a lot. And the last one's an 84. Okay. There's that Amela Nutuka over there. I need like a spyglass before I point this stuff out. Okay. Fed twice. All right. 120. Blue smoke right here. The 156 is the one that's going to eat first. Okay. So that means the other one, the 84, as soon as it feeds again, which should be relatively quick here, uh, then it will uh, be fine with me as well. I see it coming raptors up there. 84. I can now hand feed the 84. Awesome. You. You need to eat again. There we go. All right, sweet. Now I can go down there. And me and all my dinosaurs can go down there, actually. It's great. Because it's all, it's my tribe, which includes all tames. Now, here's the thing. Do not, do not try to harvest anything close to these guys, because you'll hit them. And, uh, That's not a good thing. Hello. Yes. Hi. I love Trudon so much, actually. As my friend. I love them when they're my friend. Hi. Oh. Taming them is a little fun because they're, they're little spazzes, honestly. I don't think it's the 120 can be hand-fed yet. Nope. He was hungry, but he wasn't asking. You want care. That's awesome. All right, there's the 120, and here's the 156. Hey, have some food and a pet. You're halfway tamed already. Oh, do you want care? Well, you would if you had care unlocked yet. Same with you, right? Yeah, you have to settle for being pet right now. Hey, hold still for a second, would you? Thank you. You want care yet? No. Okay. Hey, get back here. I want to feed you. Very good. You gave me a. Uh, yep. You gave me a gift. Pelt. Six pelt, but. There you go. Yeah, Timmy Trudons is an exercise in just running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Here, have some care. Yes, I know. You're a little sweetheart, aren't you? Honestly, if these things were, you know, in real life and domesticatable, I would have one as a pet. I really would. Care? Nice. I am going to hold off on feeding you, though. I want to save the, the remaining baits for... Oh, you presented me with a gift, too, huh? Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Four chitin. All right, sweet. Oh, hey. Well, those guys gave me some pelt as well. Hey, nope. Come back here. I want to I wanna feed you and pet you. And you. A nearby creature, same species, no longer attack your tribe unless provoked. That's the 75% one I couldn't remember when I was going over the list. And uh, that's very... Very handy. Okay, you were the one that just yelled at me. Here, you can have some care. You yelled at me too? Okay. You can have some care as well. You want care? Alright. And I don't want to I don't want to feed you though. Thank you. What level are you? Hey. You were the 120, so you're level 180 now that you're tamed. Oh, and things tame with 100% um, effectiveness, too, unless, you know, you whack them or something. Hey. There you go. There's the female. That alpha raptor is fighting the Amela Natuka right now, but they're getting, they're getting close. 
Oh, that's my Trudon now. Oh, you want care? Okay, here you go. You can get pet. You are like one petting away from being tamed. Just didn't quite bring enough bait down is all. <laughs> the raptor's trying to run away from the Natuka now, and it's not... It's not working. Hi. Oh. Ah, no. Did I need to access your inventory. Nope, come here. Pet, thank you. No, it's mine. Ah. <laughs> like I said, chicken with your head cut off kind of thing here. All right, come on. Somebody ask for care. You just did, didn't you? Yep. And now you're tamed. All right, that's two of them down. Man, that is a knockdown drag out fight over there. Oh, hi. Have some care. Uh, do you want pet too, maybe? No? Hey, cool. You leveled up already. What are your stats? 1360, 490. Okay, that's good. Let's get your health up a bit. And we're going to add you to group one. There you, go, you can get pet. Well, at least I got a mate boosted pair of them already. <laughs> okay, you want care? There you go. Yeah, once you get them up to like. 25% you can start petting them. You don't technically have to feed them anymore. But it goes so much faster if you feed them. They are still fighting over there. Wow. That is uh, kind of impressive, really. Here, get pet. Now, how far will you guys follow me? Or how far will you follow me? If I go back to my... Where is that Spino at, anyway? Right across the bank from my house. Uh, you going after that Parasaur? Is that what you're doing? Might be. Yep, yep, he's going after the Parasaur. Okay. Have you hit the point yet where you will protect me in battle? Because that would be kind of nice. 85% for that one. Come on. Dude, seriously. Let me pet you. Ah, let me pet you. Come back here and let me love you. There you go. All right. Oh, can you say the rock and hard place? Oh, and there's a King's Osaurus over there. Oh, that would actually be a pretty good tame, though. They can pick things up like a Megalosaur, though, and anything they pick up, they just utterly destroy. Uh, they hit three times in rapid succession for a flat 550 damage. Uh, it is reduced by armor, but... Yeah, it's... It's bad, and they're fast. They're ambush predators, and they... They can sprint like crazy. Hey, are you... Okay, you, I can pet you again anyway, okay. Those two are still fighting over there, and they keep working their way this way a little bit. That is insane. That must be like the weakest Amela Natuka I have ever seen. Like lowest melee damage is what I mean by weakest. Uh, 396. Level 396, yeah. Now you can put the baits on arrows, which I thought about doing for that. Because there's a lot easier way to neutralize an Amela Natuka is to tame it rather than trying to kill it. Oh, we got a Kings of Source over there, though. We got a we got a Dilo over there. Dude, come on. Here, okay. Come on. You want so much care still? Ah, uh, to tame up. Hi. Yes. 87.8%. I think I'm getting like 1% per go. And I think I have my effective taming speed like basically 1.5% or 1.5 times. Oh, 
Okay, they've moved further away. Okay, how about freaking Spinos right there? Oh, there's a Hesperosaurus right there. I wonder if that Kingzosaurus is going to go after it. Kingzu? I think it's Kianzu. Uh, it's Q I A N Z H O U. Dude, every time I go to check my, my radar, you want care. You're like a cat with a freaking. Whenever anybody has a you know laptop on their lap or something. Hey, sweet chitin. All right, now check it. Yep. The, the Qosaurus went after it. Uh, it's only level 36, though. So that's that would still eat me. Not a problem. Or anything else that I've got that... Well, the Segno and the Iguanodon would be safe. They're too big to be picked up. But Matrudons and Moss Chops aren't. Okay, you want care? As soon as I go to put a weapon into my hand. Yes, I know. Point, like, what, 7% on that last one? All right, the Hesperosaurus won. Oh, my Guanodon's over here the whole time it's been stuck. Just running. Dude. Seriously? Wow. I got you wedged in pretty good now, don't I? I was going to say just jump, and then I tried it, and yeah. He got stuck. Oh, do you want care? Dude, you, uh, you were kind of impatient about getting that care, weren't you? Came running up the rock at me. Tell you what, you stop. Do it. Everybody, stop following me. I'm going to get more prime meat bait if I can. Like, maybe two more pieces total will work. Freaking rocks are back. Alright, come on. There we go. Oh, hey, there's a Texor. Yeah, Texor, yeah, Tech Parasaur. Um. Yeah, I've got, like, oh, 53. Yeah, no, we're good. Oh, help. Hi. Wow. Something beat the hell out of him. He is almost dead now. Whenever he came charging towards me, he was in a panic run. Hey. Be my friend. All right, great. Um, let's see. Tell you what. Everybody, follow him. Except for you guys who are going to follow me. There we go. And let's take off taming group over. There you are. <laughs> I just saw something charging up. It was kind of backlit, so I was like, oh, no. Oh, he got ferried. Look at that. There's an Asaur over there. All right, so yeah, we're safe to, to move around now again. Wow, added six rare flowers. Cool. Yeah, Hesperosaurus is like a, uh, it's like a Stego light, really. Uh, what the heck? That is something I've never seen before. That was a Puerto Rican Chupacabra. I've never seen one of those before. Oh my. Oh, that thing was nasty. I've seen the, the Kiro Chupacabras before. Never a Puerto Rican one. Damn thing just come out and savaged everything. All right, so we're going to harvest ourselves a Stego, I think. Or a Stego, Spino. OK, 
Okay, prime meat. Awesome. Got a sale. What level are you? 192, and there's a couple more around here too. Oh, there's a Mesopithecus. Alright, is that a corpse still up here? Doesn't look like it. I think he's either despawned or more likely the uh, the Chupacabra got it. But that does mean... Okay. There. Alright. They're passive. Yeah, you got beat the hell up too, didn't you there, Therry? You're level 180, and yeah, you got beat up pretty good. Uh, if the Spino despawned, because it had been dead for too long, and then the bag will be gone. But if it, it wouldn't have despawned normally, and its corpse got eaten, there should be a bag with a sail in it somewhere around here. Thing is, I don't know exactly where the uh, the corpse was. Hey, I've got a raptor. Yep. Oh, hell, Pego. Nope. Nope. Not dealing with you. To me. Where is my third Trodon? Oh, fighting a Pego. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go back to base. All right. You guys, seriously. Let's go this way. It's kind of tempting to try to kill the fairy, but I don't think it would be advised right now. Alright. Really, I can't harvest a fish with that attack. Yeah, I can't harvest fish with my my main attack. And apparently Trudons just can't attack while they're in water, which is odd. And I can't use any of my other attacks while uh, I'm swimming with this guy. Okay. Well, I feel a lot better now about having... Did that one get trampled or just burned? Probably just burned out. Alright. Everybody quit following me. Group one. You stay with me. Yeah, look at their eyes now. Come on. Hi. Evil little bastards, aren't they? But I love them. You guys have already gotten a oh, wow. Yeah. That trooper copper gave you quite a bit of experience, didn't it? Say 3,500 ish health on all you guys? Oh, 37 on you. Whoops. Oh, well. And then we'll start putting the rest into melee damage for now. This is this mod though, immersive taming is the only way to tame friggin' truodons. Honestly, it really is. All right, you guys can just stay there for now. I got two males and a female, and I'm like I said, I'm feeling a lot better things about things now. I have a got a little bit of a base going, which is awesome. 
don't have to worry about spinos anymore. I still have to worry about that Amela Nutuka, but uh, last I saw it was pretty tied up. I'm going to go check in the morning to see what happened with the aftermath of that. But uh, with any luck, there'll be a dead Amela and a nearly dead Alpha Raptor that I can kill. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.